Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram in Whiteville, North Carolina. And I'm checking out, this is a pre-owned vehicle. It's a 2014 Smart Car um, for two. Smart Car for two with the Bow Concept interior. And um, it's a pretty neat little car. And when I say little, it there's no exaggeration there. It's very tiny. It's kind of about the size of a golf cart. I guess you could say, but I mean, it's wait till you see the interior. It's pretty pretty roomy on the inside. I mean, it's only for two people, um, so you know, it's, it's seems to be well designed for two people. But here in the front, you've got projector halogen projector headlights, and you've got it looks like LED fog lights down here. has 15 inch wheels alloy and they are coated or painted with like a gray paint it looks like it has uh, disc brakes in the front and drum brakes here in the back back wheel is a little bit wider has a little bit wider stance in the back than the front I guess that helps stabilize it a little bit tires aren't that wide I mean but they're uh, slightly different so here's the back let's go ahead and start in the back so here's what the key looks like and it has this little button here so I can push and hold that button it pops the glass so then I lift the glass up and I can access the back if I want it to that way. Then there's this little latch right here. It's on the right or left. And I can pull that back. And that releases the little tailgate. So that's how you access the back of the vehicle. And the tailgate does have uh, the ability to hold up to 220 pounds. So somebody can actually sit here and kind of hang out. This tailgate also has the ability to put stuff in there. So right now, it has the original front license plate holder inside of it. But it's a good little storage space there. So you can put stuff in there. And uh, so here's the back. And this back, uh, let's see here, it's got the this little cover here that comes off. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. And that's just to access like the light bulbs and stuff. And then you've got this little thing, same thing. But this back part has like a, has a tie down here. And um, there's like just this cover here. But this lifts up and there's no storage underneath this. But uh, this is how you access the engine. There's like a, you know, a panel there that you can go in to get to the engine. And there's this really thick mat part right here I guess that's like a firewall type th material that covers up the engine compartment and also is like a noise damper probably does have this little shade and it's only like about I guess an 8 inch to what 10 inches cover up your stuff there and behind the seats there's like this net right here so you can put some stuff there too Close that, close that, Let's see what it looks like under here. Here's a little gas cap there. Now let's start over here on the passenger side. Now since this is a boat concept edition or I guess whatever you want to call it, it has some really fancy interior. You have like a like a carpet, real soft carpeting material right here, this gray part. You got a net down here and then you've got this leather stitched around the outside. Brown leather and then black around it. Really classy looking. And the door is pretty good size. 
in the window. It's about the size of a normal car, maybe a little bit bigger. And look at that opening. I mean, that's a lot of room uh, to get in and out of the vehicle. It's the majority of the car is the door. So I find it's fairly easy getting in and out of this car compared to some other cars. You can see the seat here is leather with the stitching here. It's like a brown leather with gold stitching. And then you've got the uh, little bow concept tag there. And then you got that uh, that gray, super soft microfiber, is what it feels like, um, cloth here in the back. Take a look at all the, the floor room. Here's under the dash. And this seat is, uh, is all the way back. So they give you an idea of the leg room. And you can pull it forward, of course, if you're, uh, if you're shorter or whatever. But uh, there's hardly anything. Now, one thing that's a little annoying to me is that when you adjust this, if you want to get behind the seat, which there's not much room back there, but if you want to, you kind of have to reach over here and lift this lever and then it'll go forward, which goes right on top, you know, right on top of you as you're trying to reach that le lever. And then there's the uh, the net I was talking about to put stuff. But you can see there's no hardly any reason to reach to, to lift the seat that far forward. And it locks there, so you re have to re reach past the seat to the lever and then push it back. So that's a little annoying to me. Um, I wish it was on this side be a little bit more convenient but reaching across there is a little aggravating so I'm gonna go ahead and sit here in the passenger side let's see what it looks like got a pretty good amount of leg room and also the floorboard is lifted up tilted up to where my feet are comfortable there they're not like you know some cars your feet are, you don't have a place to rest your feet so this one does actually have places to rest your feet there and you're sitting there comfortably they are heated seats. There's a heat, heated seat control for both the passenger and driver. The door locks are here. And this little tiny glove compartment, which is, it's, um, I mean, not really that tiny compared to some. You do have the auxiliary input and your USB inputs inside the glove compartment there. And they got a leather dashboard here. There's the shifter. Keyhole is here, so it's not next to the, the steering column or anything like that. The keyhole's right there. And there's your emergency brake. All right. Now going around to the front, it's a little bit interesting. Got your boat, boat concept. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, badge there. It's like you got a little side marker there. Light. Definitely want it to be seen since you're in a small vehicle. Um, you want some lights on and stuff while you're driving to make sure that people see you so you don't get in an accident. But here in the front, you do have the ability to. This is not really like a normal hood. It's just kind of like a cover, and you can take that cover off by unlatching right here. You slide that out on that side and on this side, and you slide it out and unlatch it, and this cover will come off, and you basically literally comes off, and it'll just hang there. Um, or you, you know, but. And then, but underneath it, there's no engine there. This is where you just like fill your um, windshield washer fluid and, and, you know, maybe check your, um, you know, your radiators in there so you can check your fluid on that. So it's not something you really have to access all the time on this side, but it's a little bit weird, you know, that you're used to a, tr a, a, a hood type situation where you unlatch it and it lifts up and then you can put stuff in there or at least you lift it up right but this one doesn't do that it's just like a cover and it's like it feels like a plastic cover here's your windshield wipers easy to get to because you don't have much of a hood to to get in the way so you can like check your windshield wipers pretty good there and it's funny because uh it does it has two 
huge one, huge windshield wipers. Um, you would think that a vehicle this small, you'd only have one or maybe two small ones or something, but it has two huge ones that are, um, you know, it's pretty interesting to me. There's your little antenna there on the side. And this one does have a sunroof, and I'll show you that in, in the on the inside, but check it out on the top. You can't really tell it's actually there because it kind of blends in. There's the inside of the driver's door. This is where you got your power door locks, side mirror controls. I'm sorry, power windows there. Your door locks are in the center of the, the dash. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hop in this side and start it up. And like I showed you, the keyhole is here. So I'm going to put it in there. Start it up. So now it's started. And it does have a leather wrap steering wheel with like an orange stitching on the inside. Cruise control is about the only thing on the steering wheel here. On the left side is your turn signal, also your um, controls for your headlights. It does have an automatic mode as well. And then on this side you have um, your, your windshield wipers, but you also have this little thing right here that goes up and down and then you have an OK. This is um, for your kind of a little bit of a menu system. This is your gauge, one gauge there in the middle, and that's your speed. And uh, you do have other gauges there, but this is your, your main gauge here in the middle of your dash. And you can scroll through this little menu system here to get more information and go into settings and stuff, trips and uh, your fuel economy and all that good stuff. So. Um, that's how you access that, that little thing that kind of scrolls back and forth. And what's cool, let's see, I have to open the door to show you. This is a kind of a neat, handy storage area right here. And a really handy to put a cell phone in there, um, anything you want. And the same thing on this side, so if you're right or left handed, you can put some stuff in this little, real easy to access uh, storage compartments right, right there in front of you. There's a little tiny tray, I guess, to put change or something in here. It's not very deep, but I guess you can put something in there. It's not really, I don't think see you putting sunglasses or anything. I guess your sunglasses and your phone would have to go in there. And then this is a radio. This one's pretty basic. You know, just have a tune to the stations and uh, not a whole lot of real fanciness there. You got your tachometer, your RPMs, you got a clock there to the right. Uh, this is your climate control settings here, um, your fan speed, and your temperature. And then where you want the air to blow here, air conditioning, rear defrost, and your recirculation button there. This is your door lock controls, your four-way flashes, your heated seats. Not sure what this tire pressure light thing is. You push it, and this tire pressure thing starts flashing over here, and then it stops. So I don't know if that's checking your tire pressure or what it's doing. But um, but anyway, there's a button there, and it looks like a tire pressure monitor. You have a power supply down there, 12 volt. You got cup holders here, and. Um, not sure what these are. I guess to put some change or something. I'm not really sure what those little places are for there. And then the shifter is kind of weird. Uh, it kind of looks like a manual shifter, doesn't it? But actually, it's an automatic, reverse, neutral drive, and then you slide it there for your changing through the gears, uh, you know, manually. There's a emergency brake. There's your rear view mirror, it's a manually adjusted there. 
and um, seeing this thing right here which leads me to believe that it has a auto dimmer for the headlights but I'm not 100% on that it's an interior light I guess you can have it to where the door activates it little visor there that one has a mirror on it alright so and also you have this um, a shade that goes over your uh, your your sunroof and then you can slide it back and then you got this massive sunroof here covers the whole roof and um, so I guess it's just a glass top because uh, you know it doesn't like move or anything so I guess it's not really a sunroof per se um, but it is kind of like it lets the sun in so I'm not sure what you call it a glass top I guess you can you know, roll out your shade if you don't want to have the sun blaring in on you So anyways, um, pretty interesting vehicle. Uh, this is the first one I've ever actually had a chance to check out, you know, in person. I've seen them drive by, but hadn't really had a chance to look at them. So this is pretty, pretty neat. Uh, it's supposed to get really good gas mileage, 40 to 50 miles to the gallon, and um, it's definitely a head turner. You get attention with this little car, and also it's probably not hard to find parking. Pretty much park anywhere you want, I guess. <laughs> so. Anyways, if you have any questions or if you have anything to add, if you have any experience with this vehicle, let me know in the comment section. And I appreciate watching, and I'll see you next time.